Paris, 1840. The Boulevard du Crime, a kind of French Broadway. At one end, very grand. Down this way, gradually declining into a resort of tumblers, jugglers, barkers and freaks, pickpockets and whores. The famous opening of one of the most famous films of all time, Les Enfants du Paradis. Les Enfants was the high point in the ten-year collaboration of an odd couple, the writer Jacques Prévert and the director Marcel Carnet. It was a partnership which had already produced a string of classics. Quai des Brumes with Michel Morgan and Jean Gabin. Le jour se lève with Gabin again. Les Visiteurs du Soir, a tale of sorcery. And of course, Les Enfants du Paradis. Change is nature at work. And whether it is over the millennia or the minutes, her weather, waters, and wildlife have always conspired to create and recreate this place of unique and fragile beauty. Until now. Today, change of a completely different kind is taking hold. Driven by sheer numbers of people and the impact they make, this change threatens to undermine and spoil the work of centuries. After many years of working successfully to safeguard the harbour area, the Conservancy's quest for maximum effectiveness eventually led to the conclusion that another way was needed to help protect the wildlife habitat and environmentally sensitive sites around the harbour. The result was the Chichester Harbour Trust. This South Bank show brings you an impression of the world of the chanson. We try to define what makes the chanson distinctive, and we meet some of the legendary names and dig others out of the archive. Apart from the French language, what makes the chanson so special? Lyrics, the, the, the words. Basically, la chanson française is, is the words. Many of Juliet Greco's songs are written by France's literary stars. Une vraie chanson pour moi, c'est comme une petite pièce de théâtre, toute petite. Je chante les femmes, je chante l'amour sous toutes ses formes, je chante la mort, je chante l'ironie, le rire, euh, je, je chante ce qu'est la vie. On the southern tip of the Isle of Wight, this is the most famous landmark, the St. Catherine's Lighthouse. For 160 years, St. Catherine's has acted as an aid to mariners. But like its fellow 67 lighthouses around the English coast, it's entering a new era. It's being automated. Introducing Canon's first network document scanners the ScanFront 220 and 220p. The ScanFront is a versatile office scanning station. It's capable of scanning both sides of a document in colour, grayscale and black and white. The ScanFront network document scanner is the quickest and easiest way to share information and documentation in the office environment. It's hard to imagine many singers whose death would bring thousands of people out onto the streets to mourn. But in 1963, the loss of Edith Piaf did just that. The very name Piaf is synonymous with intense songs of love and death, passionate tales, many wrought from her own life story. For a good singer, say, and pay content, she pay cash uh, and done too. And uh, she burns herself. It's really... Uh, I take my guts and, and I, I throw my guts at your face. 
Her most famous song seems to sum up her indomitable spirit. Je ne regrette rien. It was her defining anthem. No. Her fans feel that the song is an interpretation of her own dramatic life story, encompassing as it does abandonment, murder and miracle, love and death. <laughs> 